Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel Winspire again. Uh, today I have come up with a video on how to do correlation in SAS. Um, I'm sure this video will be very useful for those um, who are doing research in life science and several other areas and uh, during their time in research they might want to do correlation uh, to understand the relationship between the, the variables and data they are collecting. So before doing uh, correlation in SAS, let's understand briefly what is a correlation. So basically correlation is a, uh, is a degree to which two variables vary together. For example, height and weight. Uh, so if height increases, weight increases or decreases, that is called correlation. If uh, there is no any relationship, then maybe they are not related at all. Maybe um, if height increases, there is no effect on weight, then they are not related. But if height increases and weight also increases, then they might be positively correlated. And if height increases and weight decreases, then they might be negatively correlated. Uh, this is just an example, guys. So correlation is always measured in R and R is called correlation coefficient. And R is always in between negative one, minus one to plus one. So minus one means uh, there is a perfect negative correlation and any value below zero uh, means uh, that is negatively correlated. Those two variables are negatively correlated. And if R is zero, then there is no correlation or there is no relationship between those two variables. And if R is uh, plus one, then that is called perfect positive correlation. But if R is um, above zero, then there is some degree of positive correlation between uh, two variables. And uh, let's uh, go through some of the examples, guys. Um, so as you can see here, uh, three graphs here. The first graph, uh, this is uh, this is the graph uh, of uh, two data, X and Y, uh, where there is a negative correlation, where the correlation coefficient is less than zero. And the uh, example of this might be uh, higher the speed of your car, then there is a shorter reach time to destination. So those once uh, speed increases, um, uh, reach time to destination decreases. For example, you are going from uh, one place to another place. If you increase the speed of car, then uh, the chance that you will reach to destination becomes faster. So they, that means those two variables are negatively correlated. One increases, other decreases. For example, here X is increasing and Y is decreasing. And the second graph here is about negative correlation. That means uh, correlation coefficient R equals to zero. Uh, for example, um, there might be no relationship between your IQ level, um, your intelligence level and uh, the number of clothes you have. Those two uh, variables are completely unrelated and they might not have, they may not have any relation at all. So that means they are not correlated and they are not related at all. And the other uh, graph here is about positive correlation. So as the variable x is increasing variable y is also increasing in a linear manner uh, for example uh, the more you the more time you spend on exercise the more energy you spend uh, so those two variables when you uh, exercise more uh, you spend more energy those two variables are positively related uh, so i hope this is uh, clear to you guys um, now let's go to sas and let's learn how to do uh, correlation using sas software all right guys uh, so this is my data here um, i have a total of 34 persons and um, half of them are male and half of them are female and this is the data of their height in centimeter and this is the data of their weight in um, weight in uh, kg and my objective here is to see whether height and weight are correlated or not uh, so let's go to SAS and do um, do 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 the thing. Um, uh, so for this, I am using SAS University Edition, guys, which is free to use. All right, guys, uh, let's do correlation in SAS. Uh, this is a window of SAS University Edition, which is slightly different from the uh, regular SAS person. Um, for this, uh, you have to run through a browser like Chrome or windows browser um, so let's start guys um, so as you can see here this is a window for code and this is a window for log and this is the window for results so we have to go to the code window 
uh, to input our our codes uh, so let's start guys so first you have to do data and you can give pretty much any name uh, I'll give name one data one and then um, you have to remember the next statement guys uh, because without that statement sometimes uh, SAS University Edison doesn't load the data so in file data lines delimiter yeah you always have to do that uh, sometimes it doesn't load the data and then there will be your input which is uh, your variables so as you can uh, see in our excel data set uh, we had four variables so first one is person second one is sex um, and third one is um, height and fourth one is weight also what you have to remember is uh, because sex uh, is in alphabet alphabet form you have to give dollar sign and then you have to write data lines now let's go to the excel and copy our data here so this is our data so i'm copying all the data here so control c and let's go to the excel uh, sas and control v so yeah i have copied uh, my data here then you have to give this signs and then let's uh, do uh, let's print this data first whether the data has been loaded nicely in sas or not we want to know that so you can do pro print and then run so let's run it guys to run it uh, you have to click this sign here let's go to the results I think there is some issue here guys um, so that there are two errors so it says um, it has to be a name maybe it can't be uh, the number so let's change that so let's do data one and let's run it again perfect there are no errors now yeah and you can see here in the result uh, window uh, there are total of 34 persons and six half male and half female and the height is printed nicely and weight is also printed nicely height is in centimeter and weight is in kg so let's go to code again and let's do correlation let's run correlation so for correlation you have to do uh, probe core and then again variable so height is one of our variable and weight is another variable and run so we are just running correlation correlation between height and weight so you can just put pro core uh, variable height and weight and then run let's run it guys looks like there is no error so let's go down scroll down all right so perfect um, you can see some simple statistics here I'll show you later on how to read the correlation data and how to interpret it and it looks like we have got Pearson correlation coefficient total number of data is 34 and this is a correlation table I'll show you later on uh, after some time how to read this data guys uh, so before that let's do a scatter plot because the scatter plot also gives you some nice idea on correlation so it gives a graphical representation of um, correlation so pro scatter uh, you are plotting height against weight height by weight 
and then run so that's all guys so just run it so you want to see the plot of height uh, so you have to put uh, by sign here uh, and let's run it to get a plot of height and weight let's run it again looks like there is no error again you can check the log yeah there is no error go to result yeah now you can see here guys um, there is a good uh, scatter plot or plot of height and weight weight is a x variable and height is a y variable and as you can see here as weight is increasing height is also increasing uh, which is a graphical representation and it looks like there is some degree of relationship even uh, without looking at the numerical value just looking at the graph so as weight is increasing height is increasing so there must be some degree of relationship so let's uh, print um, let's uh, extract this result in PDF and I'll explain you how to read the data so let's uh, download this result as a PDF file sometimes it takes a little bit of time yep so this is our PDF So this is our raw data set guys uh, so there are uh, total of four variables person sex height and weight and the data is printed loaded nicely and this is our simple statistics total of 34 uh, persons uh, that is a mean of height weight of height standard deviation sum minimum and maximum minimum weight and maximum weight and this is our correlation table guys so as you can see here, um, so there are few things you have to remember here. Uh, one is called uh, uh, the x variable and another is y variable. Let's assume um, x is uh, weight and y is height. So you have to read this data set here. It, so this data here shows the correlation between weight and height. So so the p-value is less than 0 0.05 which is this value that means they are significantly correlated so uh, basically when uh, p-value is less than 0 0.05 that means they are uh, they are significantly correlated and r value is um, we, r is called um, correlation coefficient which is 0 0.63 so as i told earlier if r is positive that means there is some degree of r is uh, greater than zero they, uh, then uh, there is some degree of positive correlation so r is basically 0 0.63 so that means there is um, there is uh, some in between moderate to strong positive correlation between height and weight that means as height increases as weight increases height in height increases as well so as you can see here in the plot data so when the weight is increasing height is also increasing guys uh, let's do it 100 percent yeah so as weight is increasing height is increasing or as height is increasing weight is also increasing uh, so this is how you do correlation in sas guys um, it looks like there are two outliers here that is affecting um, our results slightly uh, I don't know I can't say for sure if they are outliers or not you have to do outlier check and I have uh, another video on how to do outlier test in, uh, in using SAS as well if you want to see the link uh, if you want to see that video the, the link uh, I have given in uh, given below uh, so if you remove those two data set if they are outlier then then the then the value of R might increase up to 70 0.7 or something like that you have to do a test again after removing those data if they are outlier uh, so guys i hope this video is uh, useful to you uh, so just remember this is r value this is r value 0.63 and this is um, p value which is less than 0.05 that means they are significantly correlated so guys uh, i hope this video is useful to you and uh, please let me know in the comment if uh, this video helped you during your assignment and research and please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you guys